Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to compare code, which is VS code and this shitty editor, which is on top of Electron and Electron is a browser. So basically this is uh, very slow. This is basically running inside browser and soon you are going to see VS code online version. I think it's already there, but whatever with my Emacs, which is super cool. And I'm actually writing some projects these days and I'm using Emacs and I find obviously Emacs a lot better. So what's the issue with uh, this thing? Well, first of all, there is no standard. This is completely for normies. You don't learn it. It's like everything is already there. You have to use mouse. It just forces you to use mouse and it's ugly, obviously. Now in Emacs, there is, it's a completely different thing. It's for, it's for pros basically. So I need to write some project and people are like, you have to use, you know, VS code because it provides you a lot of auto completion and functionality. And this is a myth. And this is why I'm making this video. I just want to break this myth. So the first thing is this is my project, by the way. So let me find some file like min.py. And as you can see, uh, I, this looks very normal, but some people are like, you need to have tree. If you don't have this, you know, project structure tree, you don't have like you are not going to understand it. So I'm like, fine, here's the tree. <laughs> you want a tree, here, here I have it. Uh, you can do all sorts of stuff, like whatever you're doing here, you can do here. Now some people are like, but this have intonation line. Well, okay, you want intonation, indentation, whatever, you have it, okay? I don't like this to be honest, so let's just remove it. Or, or you know what, let's make this VS code exactly like this, okay? Like. Sorry, let's make Emacs exactly like VS Code. Sorry, I'm uh, okay. Why I remove menu bar? I need to remove toolbar. Okay, now it's fine. So I also need terminal here. Without terminal, it's it's not same. So there are multiple options. I can do V term toggle. I have this terminal. All right, I can use it, and it's much better than this terminal. Uh, but I have options. I have some other terminals to eShell, but I, I find VTerm better. And let's just close it. Yes. I don't like this scroll bar. Let's just remove it. Okay. Uh, also, this line number, I need to have some display line number. Notice one thing. Everything which I'm doing, everything is here. All right. Just press Alt X and I can just run it. Here, what's the standard? Like, where should I go? What should I do? Who is going to teach me all this? I don't know. Should I go on YouTube, learn some tutorial where to click to do something? This is not good. Now, other, other, um, sorry about my fumbling. Another thing is this auto completion. Okay. For example, this thing. All right. I have this in my Emacs and it's way better. I have much better control. Some people are like, you cannot have it, but it is there. It's, you know what? There's complete thing like LSP mode and you should look into it. You can do all kind of auto completion. You can do, you know, you can do debugging. There is this tap mode, which is basically debugger adapter protocol. So I don't really need all of this, but you know, in future, if I write some flutter applications or, you know, some modern programming with, you know, IntelliJ kind of auto completion, this thing is uh, making everything pretty simple because all the programming language which are out there, it provides help for you know the easy functionality for it so lsp mode is basically like you install it and it will do everything for you okay you have to install some server for whatever the language you are using but it's going to be pretty easy it's not really hard as, as some people think it's it is okay so other than that like there are some features like you can search through entire project this is something i needed okay and i realized it's already there in the emacs you know I can use find grab and then I can search something like any word and let's just save this file and look at this. It's, it's doing the exact same thing. I can open that file. I can close it and you know, it's cool. Now, one thing is this, uh, you know, Git integration. Some people are like, you know what we have, like we show everything Git related stuff, but this is dog shit. Okay. Look at this something so beautiful that some people use Emacs just for this feature, which is magic. Okay. Let me, let me remove this Emacs indent. I don't really like this. So this is uh, what, what it's called magic. Okay. You can stage changes. You can unstage changes like this. You don't really need to use command line for Git. Like it's stupid. Okay. 
let me remove this stream max so as you can see it's so good you can, it's unbelievably good okay you can stage like one particular change you can you know you can just look into all the changes before pushing it and you can do push full all kind of stuff you don't really even have to open your you know git command line if somebody using maggot used to maggot he he knows what i'm talking about for those who don't know okay this is actually better than git command line let me say this okay i use it i use maggot now i wrote like a lot of projects now in emacs like and i believe like it's a myth that you can't use emacs for writing some huge project i believe it's a total bullshit whoever say this he don't know what he's talking about now other than that like um, okay so I, I showed you a lot of stuff but for example this thing you can also get this like i don't know what this is for but you can have this okay all the plugins which you have it's already there uh, the configuration okay so you don't really need to write the configuration you can install list packages like this like like and just install it with normal way like just use mouse in the start if you want i don't really recommend it but yeah you can install with package install but whatever so this is my configuration and okay let me show you this thing wait a second okay one thing some people use you know vim plugin in vs code and they they think like they are pros because they are they are not using vs code they are using vim right no okay in emacs i also use evil mode so sometimes i open evil mode let me show you right now i am using evil mode i can close it i can use my normal key bindings okay i use both to be honest sometimes i use evil mode sometimes i don't and Emacs email mode is very well integrated. It's much better than any other stupid plugins which you use in VS Code. I'm going pretty harsh on VS Code to be honest, but it's it's seriously bad. And the reason I'm going harsh is because let me remove this stupid menu bar mode. Okay, I should also remove this stupid theme. But anyways, so the reason I'm getting harsh is because it's dominating the market. Everybody is using these these days like VS Code, and the development of VS Code is very fast and people are writing lot of buggy stupid plugins and the performance is obviously bad because people everybody have 8 gb ram these days right and vs code is like i'm going to take all of it so we need more people in emacs we need community to be bigger so we will have like much better features like everything is there already it's not like emacs community is not doing anything it's doing a lot of stuff but uh, there are so many extensions which you can't even imagine like inside emacs or like but still it's i don't want emacs to die i want like even for the future projects whatever the newer technology comes coming out emacs should have support it have support like right now it have support for everything it's just a myth that emacs cannot do it um okay that's it for this video i just wanted to showcase that whatever you are using you can emacs is pretty easy by the way you can use mouse clicks and everything i have this projectile mode too like to find files like if i want to quickly switch files and uh, there are a lot of other features which i use like for example a uh, projectile display buffer so so i don't have these tabs i have this display buffer so i can just quickly switch to any buffer and i really love the buffer concept and i'm not even talking about art mode right okay so that's it thanks for watching